I'm doing something I haven't done in years. Just laying back and watching the clouds roll by. Funny how I was saying um, that God was urging me to, to get my book done. He was, he was nudging and nudging, and he says, you know, let me know when you get as far as you can. And remember I said, help me with the ending. I need an ending. Well, he sent me a gift. It wasn't in the typical wrapping paper like you normally get with the bow on it, but in a manila envelope. And I went, oh, my gee golly, and picked up the phone and made a phone call. So... I realized that um, he came through for me, didn't he? In more ways than one. I can't wait to um, finally take a breath because it's been a tough, tough um, two years, this case. Um, <sighs> took me to places, oh, something's on my nose, that I've never been emotionally, mentally, very stressful, you know, custody of a child, you got to prove who you are, and, you know, we're told nobody should, it shouldn't matter to anyone but God, but we got, we know that people just love to talk, boy, they just talk, 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 and they act like they just know everything, you know, I remember saying, um, that I try to be like Jesus to the best of my ability when I say that, you know, I'm loving, caring, and forgiving. Um, one role I'll never play, though, is God. Because I know you should never, never, never play God. Because at some point, the real God comes for you, right? I think um, some people just need uh, a wake-up call. They need to realize that it should be the same theory for anybody, no matter what position you're in. If you're a police officer, if you're a judge, if you're a social worker, you know, if you're a doctor. Um, I have respect for anyone in any field. Something keeps itching me. Anyone that's in any field, you know, totally respect um, people in their positions. Um, but I do think that at times people abuse their um, position or their amount of power that they're given or the amount of people they know or if it's the amount of money they have or if it's... I might not be laying here very much longer. I feel like, I feel like something's itching my face. Um, you know... I know you guys know what I'm talking about, how people like to just, um, sometimes they, unfortunately, certain people in certain positions, um, abuse their, their space or their place or their position. So it's rewarding to know though, that when you pray to God and you say, Hey God, I just need a little clarification here. Because such and such or so and so um, thinks they're God, and they're they're playing God, and um, it's 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 affecting my life in a negative way. I feel a great big amount of distress, and I know you tell me, Father, to to relax and have faith that you'll take care of things. Um, but I just kind of feel like someone else is trying to abuse their position, and it's harming another. So he says, all right, well, let me go ahead and take care of that. And by golly, he sure did. He sent the message, kind of like a, a reinstatement, right, of, hey, you, I want to remind you who you are, and now I'm going to remind you of who I am, too. It's nice to know that our Heavenly Father is there. We talk to him and let him know our issues and concerns and that he will in fact address them now just know that we all want something and there's what, a couple billion people in the world so it's not that anyone's problem is more important than another I think God really just um, I don't know how he does things I mean I'm not God but 
I imagine he has a lot of people. I'd like to think almost that many people asking him for help. But the sad news is I'm beginning to be more and more aware of how many people actually don't believe in God. Um, after I started looking for my purpose and, you know, and uh, way back when I got sober and started work, working my steps, it was funny that I questioned even if there was a God. So I started comparing doorknob when I was talking about my steps. And wouldn't you know, God showed up and proved to me um, things started happening. And I was like, well, the doorknob didn't do that. <laughs> so it's just um, I find it rewarding and entertaining that um, if you do question him, he will... Um, make a point to show himself. So, but yeah, I, I noticed that like my therapist, both my counselors, certain teachers, people I talk to, you know, a lot of people don't believe in God. I was, it's not like I'm trying to be childlike, like, oh my gosh, really? Because it shouldn't shock me that much, but just maybe disappointment. Um, but I guess I kind of felt that way when I realized there wasn't a Stano or a Tooth Fairy either, you know? Um, God's not that way. He's not Tooth Fairy or Santa Claus. The only reason why I say that is, um, because I think it's, it's still the whole, you know, gotta see it to believe it. Um. And some things, though, are, um, you got to believe it to see it, you know? If you ask the questions, you will get the answers. Don't we have an expression, seek and ye shall find, right? Pretty sure. <laughs> Funny.